and welcome to Ion Radio. I'm Ken. I'm John. And today we are back with the first Somerset Strikers, bringing you our fourth episode of the series. It's the Battle for Wotan. So in this series, we're both um, playing the role of the bad guy. I'm Star Colonel Kristen Redmond, and you're playing... I'll be Nikolai Malthus. And this is a Malthus episode. So Ken's going to be playing Clan Jade Falcon, and I'm going to be taking on those that he's going to try to blow up. Jade Falcon is not the bad guys, but I digress. In what universe <laughs> are they not the bad guys? They're the bad guys in the clans! <laughs> we would like to give a special shout out to all of our Patreon members for supporting us. There's a link right there down below in the description if you would like to join that. <laughs> so hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Again, this is the Battle of Wotan. It's going to be the first, I think it's like 20 or 30 seconds of the third episode of the cartoon. And in a nutshell, and you're going to see this in a second, we have Malthus and his small little, just one star, against two lances of inner sphere on the planet of Wotan. They're very demoralized. So let's get to the board, and then our match. Welcome to Wotan. I'm going to be the Defender Force. As you can see, I have my recon lance of three um, Wolfhounds and a Centurion over here. And then I have my battle type lance of three Centurions and a Mauler over here. Jade Falcon is going to be starting off on the west end of the map and moving on during turn one. So there are two special rules that we have to worry about with this game. The first one, and this is because the Wotan Militia are demoralized and tired. So rule number one, all of their to hits are at a plus one penalty, and their initiative has a minus two roll to it. No, none of the uh, Militia can run off the map. They have to defend to the last mech. Okay, let's go ahead and take a roll. I'm the yellow dice, and Ken is that, and that's technically a tie. It's a tie. It's coming into effect already. Look at that, even with a negative two, I you, won initiative. You won initiative, we, John. We joked about that this was gonna happen, so Ken's gonna start by moving his forces onto the table. So here is the Jade Falcon movement. I moved both of the Mad Cats up along with the Vultures. We're going to kind of try to avoid staying in the water. And because I could, the only unit on the board with jump jets, Malthus decided to jump over this hill and land right in that little cluster of trees. Most of my units are pretty much useless because of uh, their skill and weapons, so I decided not to let them die turn one, and I just had them stand still behind this hill to live at least into turn two which is longer than some of my units have in this campaign. The rest of this battle lance, if you would call it such, decided to run forward to try to close the distance as quickly as possible. Here we go into shooting on the very first turn. 
I'm going to initiate Zellbringen starting with uh, the Madcap right here. That's Jawa. And he's going to declare his attacks against a little red centurion hiding all the way back in the middle of the town of Wotan. So first shot, we have, uh, we're at long range, two ER large lasers, and I am looking to hit on 12s. All right, so I have uh, the two ER lasers, they're in red, looking for 12. Nothing. So not understanding anything that uh, these weirdos with their green tattoos are yelling about uh, Zell or something like that. Um, we're going to be just shooting these three units against this mad cat down here. We're going to start with the Mauler because it has my best to hit numbers with two LRMs and an ER laser needing nine. And hey, two things actually hit. Well, I did not actually expect that. Neither did I. <laughs> This game's off to a great start. <laughs> I, I just needed that enough to hit, Ken. It's like you, you always hit on 11s. So, okay, but I don't hit a 12. No, that, that's, my, <laughs> that's my jam in Alpha Strike. So here we go, here's an LRM 15 cluster. That's all three. Well, I'm seeing where this game's going. <laughs> and now let's roll up some locations. So these are all armor hits into Ken's Mad Cat. And uh, that is over 20 points of damage, so there will be a piloting check. So now this green highlighted uh, Centurion is gonna shoot an LRM all the way down there. He needs a 10. Ah, close. If it wasn't for the mor team morale, would have been a hit. So now let's step up again. The blue Centurion's gonna shoot down as well. And he needs a cheeky 11. And that's gonna clearly miss. That's all the shooting. All right, here we go, guys. I need a uh, five, because five skill and the 20 points of damage. Let's see if I can do it. I do, but just barely. Turn two. So we had a little bit of combat, some armor got hit, and nothing is blowing up due to heat. Let's go to initiative. Six. Do your one. I cool. think I win. So I will have to go first. So to start off movement, the red centurion has cleverly hid himself from the mad cat that's trying to kill it. And Zellenbrig means that mad cat has a long way to run to get to him. His other centurion friends decided to keep moving forward along with the mauler. They're feeling okay-ish. The two wolfhounds decided to run across into the, uh, the trees to provide some cover. And my last centurion leading the wolfhounds they're just standing still because no one can shoot them and not getting shot is better than missing on 12s. So I've moved both vultures up. They're in attack positions looking to get the uh, handful of small recon mechs hiding behind the little mountainside. I have one of the mad cats coming around the pool because, you know, why dip into water? It's 
fun, more fun to go around and run faster. And then Malthus, once again, using his jump jets, trying to get into the middle of the battle where he's going to select something and blow it up in a single shot. And then the final Mad Cat is coming around this side of the mountain looking at that Centurion Wolfhound, or at least trying to get to it, get them. So at the beginning of the weapons attack phase, Zellbregen, we're going to have Aaron here targeting the uh, Wolfhound that looks like it's green. There we go. Fire away, Jen. So all my shots are going to be going against that Vulture. So we're going to start off with cheeky shots first. This Centurion's gonna use this Wolfhound to target that um, Vulture with an indirect LRM. It is a LRM-10 with Artemis, and I need 11 to hit. It misses. And then we're gonna need 12s for three medium lasers against that Vulture again. Four. There's at least one six. Keep moving down. We're gonna need from here to there, we're gonna need 11s on the LRM and 12s on the AC. So basically, I'm just gonna fire this twice because of both of them doing the same thing. Or nothing. Followed by another nothing, but I haven't even rolled it yet. Hey! No! Oh, wait, you need 11? Nothing. Ah, so close. And then 10s for LRM and two ER larges into that as well from the Mauler. Hey! Look at that. That's an LRM and a so laser. Large laser. Rolling up a cluster. That's going to be two clusters, two clusters, and a large laser. Locations. So these are all armor hits, and that concludes my shooting phase. Return fire. Aaron is firing at the green wolfhound. I have two large pulse lasers and an LRM-20. I need eights on the pulse laser and ten on the LRM-20. And I missed with the LRM-20 and hit with only one of the large pulse lasers. Wow. Pulse damage, so location. Miraculously, this is only an armor hit for me. So we both just threw some uh, light arms at each other. Not a lot of damage done, starting round three. Let's see who wins initiative. My host can. Yeah. So the cowardly centurion decided to move forward because, you know, he's not going to do anything. I might as well get him forward. The rest of my units pretty much just ran forward, came around here, went over here, pulled back, did a stupid little loop that I hate in Battletech, <laughs> but uh, we're going to try to make this into a little killing field of hitting on 12s. So this mad cat is going to go for the centurion that's off screen. We've got a vulture that has yet to declare his Zellbriggan, but there's this wolfhound right in front of him that he might do. The other vulture, again, moving up just slightly, but staying out of uh, physical combat range from some of the wolfhounds. 
because his target is right in the trees ahead. Malthus is finally going to get a shot. He's just walking around the side of the mountain here. We got one other mech, and there it is. That mad cat's coming around the mountain, facing down what looks to be a mauler. Zellbriggan, we're finally got all my mechs on the table being able to make declarations. So the mad cat hiding in the corner, that is Douglas. It's going to be going after the mauler. Malthus and his Thor has decided to declare Zellbriggan on the blue centurion. The extra vulture, uh, Leopold, is going to attack the wolfhound in red right next to him. I think it's all the attacks that I haven't already declared. Okay, so we're going to start off with my shooting. Everything I have is shooting against this vulture. So this guy, his shot, he needs a 12 with an LRM. Let's see. Oh! So close. If it wasn't demoralized, it would have hit. Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to start over here and uh, we're going to shoot all of my wolfhounds into this vulture. So we're going to start with the two, the red one, red one into you. You have a zero modifier. Correct. And I still need nines. Wow. So there's three mediums. I hit twice. You got twice. Okay, so right leg armor and right arm armor. Then we're gonna shoot with the blue one into you. It's gonna be the same thing, needing nine. That's gonna be a solid straight miss. My last wolfhound into the vulture, needing ten. And that's also a straight miss. Let's now go with Centurion Blue into you. He's going to be shooting a medium laser and an AC-10. I need eights on both of these. Ooh. That's two hits. Let's roll up some locations. I've actually hit this mech enough to cause it to need to do a roll at the end. So we did 5 to the center torso and 10 to the left torso. Okay, so we're going to now shoot with Green Centurion into you. He needs 7 for his AC, 8 for his medium laser, and 9 for his LRM. We're inside minimum range, but I decided it was still a decent enough number that I should just go for it. So here we go. And that is straight misses. Now we're going to go with the mauler into the vulture. I need seven for the four AC2s I'm shooting into you and eights for the two LRMs. Here we go. Well... I hit you with some small fire, but nothing actually of importance. Mm. I've almost peeled all of your armor. Yeah, this is one leg. Yeah. Okay, so last shot, Centurion into him. We're firing LBX cluster rounds so I actually can hit. So we need a 7 for the LBX cluster and 8 for the LRF. So that's a cluster hit hit. Yeah. So here's the cluster rounds for that. And one and twos don't hit, so there goes almost 50% of the damage. So six of the clusters actually will land. Okay, so one point to right arm, one point to right leg, two points to right torso, one point to center, and one point to left. That's my shooting phase. So we're going to start our fire with Malthus, because why not? I have, he's firing everything, uh, an LBX and a ERPPC needing fives, 
a streak SRM needing a 6, and a small laser needing a 7. That's a hit. That will, they all, no, small laser misses. So everything's armor shots except the left leg. We've got some chances for criticals. First crit chance? Nope. Second. And the final. No. No crits. That will be a pilot on that guy, though. So for this shot, Douglas and the Mad Cat's going to fire up against the Mauler. I have two ER large lasers, a medium laser, and a medium pulse laser going in at them. I'm looking for sevens on the larges, eight on the mediums, and six on the pulse. everything hits, let's go for locations. Okay. So I take heavy damage just to my armor, making me take a piloting save. So here we go, Mad Cat to the Centurion, one of the first shots we made in the game. Two LRM-20s, two EL, or ER large lasers, everything needs nine. Everything does. A lot of heat. So here we go. We're firing Vulture into the Wolfhound. I'm firing with two large pulse lasers, two medium pulse lasers, looking for sixes because we're right next to each other. And that misses. Hey, that's one miss. That's good for me. Right, everything else hits. So a lot of armor hits, but a PSR. So, Vulture into the Wolfhound, heavy cover because of the trees, looking for sevens, two large pulses, and a medium pulse. Uh, the pulse misses, but the two regulars hit. Okay, that will be a piloting check. 20 points of damage, let's see where it goes. Alright, so we went into the right torso taking out the arm. Yeah, right arm is destroyed and Ken gets a critical chance into the right torso. Here's the crit chance. Nine, that's one. Okay, so you kill a medium laser. We'll start with the PSR right here. The Mahler needs a four. He stays standing. Then we're gonna go to the blue Centurion. He needs a six. He fails. Let's see where direction he's going. One to the right. And then he'll fall on his right side. So, five so one point cluster of five goes to the 11. Right leg, uh, left leg. Critical chance on the right, left leg. Does not happen, eight. It does. It does. And I take out a leg actuator. Now for a piloting, I need a six to not take a damage. I do not take a damage. Let's move on to the green wolfhound. I need a seven. I fall there as well. Two to the right. Location for round up or round down? Or when you're doing tens. You get an extra one. So, so rounds up. Center torso. Now I need to roll another seven to try to not take damage. Pilot's fine. Rather the pilot take a hit than fall down. Mm. I need a six to stay standing with the red wolfhound. I stay standing. One guy has to stay on his feet. All right, Vulture needs to take PSR, looking for a five. Ooh, ooh. In the box. Okay, we're still standing.
Turn four. We have a couple mechs face down in the dirt in the trees. A couple mechs start to overheat and get some movement penalties. Let's see what happens in initiative. Seven. One. We're gonna attempt to stand up with Blue Guy. We're going to do it by running. And I need to roll a six to stand up because I have a blown off leg actuator. I do not, and I fall again. So that's uh, face forward. Okay, and then the damage location. Center torso. Center torso, it takes five. So that's two, and then we're gonna try standing up again. That's times it's a six. Uh, so six, on the other hand, John, makes you go one to the left. So, you know, we kind of stand up and fall like that. Four. Yeah, right. Uh, on the left-hand side is the left arm. Okay. So, uh, actually, I need to make, before I do that, a piloting check. Mm -hmm. My guy's fine, and then the second piloting check for that. My guy can't stand up, but he doesn't fall unconscious, so he ran with a zero. Well, that's dead. Green Wolfhound, attempting to stand up. We need a six, and we are definitely running. I stand up, So here's the movement. We've swarmed this guy. My guy can't stand up and has done tons of damage to himself. And we've just repositioned ourselves to try to shoot into this little area here. Yeah, that pretty much explains it. Uh, you know, you successfully maneuvered your way so I don't get a shot at you too, John. So nice movement. Thanks. Now to shooting phase. Shooting phase. This is the only guy shooting this vulture, but I figured He's at decent range to do it, so we'll attempt. Um, so we're going to be firing an LRM, a medium laser, and an LDX cluster. So the LRM needs 10s, the cluster needs 8, and the medium laser needs 10s as well. Well, that's a whole lot of nothing. Let's start with red into your rear. Needing 10s on three mediums. That's all misses. Moving on without delay to the blue guy shooting into you. Needing nines, he has a large laser that he's also shooting. And one medium hits, and that's into your side, I believe. Yep. Right side. So seven. Uh, right torso. That's five into your right torso. Now the one that's been damaged into you with two medium lasers needing Hey, that's another, another medium. One. Eight. Left torso. Okay, now this guy is shooting into him. He needs 12 on the AC and 11 on the LRM. Nothing. Then we're going to shoot the AC and the medium laser from here into your front. I need seven. Another medium laser. Six. Right torso. Everything but a large laser. 
coming from that mauler into you now, and I need seven. Most things hit, so let's roll up some clusters. First cluster. Two of them hit. Second cluster. Three of them hit, so we got five. Here's our location. Oh, we actually have a head hit. So we have two head hits, but with the way this is, only one of them goes through, so it's not too cheeky. So here's going to be a second roll. If it's a six, it's still a head hit. Five. So... How many crit chances? You have one, two, three crit chances into the left arm, and there is an LBX and an ammo in there. Mm -hmm. Ammo, even with case, still does uh, two damage if it hits it. Three crit chances into Ken's left arm. Nope. Nope. And nope. That's all my shooting. Okay, on to the clan. All right, so we're going to move along. Malthus firing at the down to Centurion. I'm looking for four Alpha Strike firing everything. And I miss with the PPC. I hit with everything else. So, a bunch of damage. The left leg is blown off. And as John and I have realized, he does not have to do a pilot check because he's already on the ground. Douglas in his madcap firing at the mauler. I have two large lasers, two medium lasers, and one pulse laser. Looking for sixes on everything but the pulse laser, which needs a four. Everything else hits though. So okay. one of you, everything. So all these shots just hit my armor, thankfully. Next shot. We're gonna go from the green vulture to the red wolfhound. I'm looking for fives on two large pulse and one medium pulse lasers. That's everything. So a couple crits, crit in the center torso, crit in the left leg. Let's see what happens. Center torso first. Yep. Number bottom. Four. Fusion. Bottom. Two. Fusion. Top. Four. Gyro. I'm technically not dead yet. You have to waste another turn shooting at it. I can still fall and kill myself. And then this is to the left leg. Yep. Two. Let me just roll both. Yeah. So three and six. You have to re-roll one. The six. Four. Foot and a leg. Same shot, going from this vulture to the green wolfhound. So two large pulses, medium pulses, looking for five. Everything again. So effective damage, the left torso and left side of this mech is gone. Okay, this mess. So red guy is punching you twice from behind. I need eight. Miss, and a miss. Now, blue guy is going to kick you for a seven, a miss, and green guy is going to kick you for an eight. That's a hit, and that's going to be seven points of damage to your legs. Okay, so where's the location? A six. Uh, you're from the front, so that would be the left leg. Now the Centurion guy is gonna kick you, and he needs a six. You got it. I got it. Get into the tray. Yay! And he's gonna do ten points to 
Guessing that's the left leg again? Yeah, this is another kick. Yeah? Yep. Ten points. One pip left in the left leg for armor. Okay, so now let's uh, figure out how people are falling. Let's go with the red guy. He needs an 11 to stay standing. What? He falls? Uh, to the right, twice. I gotta do a crit on myself. That's amazing. Into nine. Left leg. So, cool. So that's five points in the left leg. That leg is destroyed. Now, green guy needs a seven. Hold on, I fell, so I need a pilot for red. Right. What? He takes a piloting hit because it was an 11. Does he stay conscious? Yes. Okay, so green guy needs a seven. He can miraculously fail that. Fall to the four. Okay, four. Falls back onto his rear. Turn nine. Left leg again. And does my pilot take damage? Nope. And then Malthus needs to make, take a piloting skill roll. Alright, he needs a three. And that ends turn four. Okay, so as you can see, most of my mechs are now on the ground with legs blown up waiting to get killed. So. We'll see initiative, and I probably won't be standing anyone up. Ten wins initiative. And I'll start moving. Stand up. I need a six. I succeed. And we're gonna start by pointing, I believe, that way. And hold it for movement my mechs that are down stayed down everything else just shuffled around and that's it on uh, the falcon side i'm chasing down the units that i need to kill seeing if i can't kill one or two this turn shooting phase muller versus that thor we're doing the same thing as before two lrms a large laser and a handful of the other things and I need seven. That's gonna be all misses. Hey! Yeah, you hit with the laser. A laser hits. Center torso. Five points. That's a large, that's eight. Oh, it's eight. Okay, everyone in this whole area is gaining up on that vulture. We're gonna start with a large laser that this guy's propping himself up to shoot over there with. And I need actually an eight because I just didn't move and you barely moved and we're at close range, so. Eight. It's a hit. And that's a three. You're actually hitting my left side. Left leg. Now we're shooting 
This guy into you, he has eight medium laser left. And I need ten. Miss. Then we're gonna go up to the red guy shooting into you. He needs ten on the medium laser and nine on the AC. That's a hit That's of the AC. Hey, yeah. I'm like, I think there's a hit in there somewhere. That's a ten. Right on. Yeah. Left arm. Crit chance into the left arm. Nope. The blue guy is propping himself up and trying to shoot into you. Nines for his AC and nines for his medium laser. That's a medium laser head. Six. That's right. right for some. Green Centurion into you. He needs sevens on an AC and medium laser. What? All misses? Now my last guy. He's shooting into you. He has sevens for his LBX cluster and eights for his medium laser. Uh, that's oh. both hit. Here's the cluster roll. And here's the hit. So three crit chances into the left torso. Right of, torso. Right torso, because of cluster. First one, nothing. Second one, nothing. Third one, that's one. That's one. So there's a top and a bottom. Top. Okay. So it's the bottom. So it's the bottom. The only thing you can hit those ammo. So uh, there goes the LRM twenty ammo. Okay. So that will completely destroy that side. Yeah, because yeah, so and right torso is gone. Case. So you blew off the right side of the mech. Yes, and your pilot does take two damage still because it's an ammo explosion. Yep. Maybe I'll kill your pilot before I kill that. <laughs> you might. Okay, and now we'll go into the arm for the two. I get one. That's one. Is there upper or lower? Uh, just gonna be the upper. Three. Lower arm actuator. Okay, second one. Nothing. Alright. That is it for all my attacks. So here we go. Malthus hitting the guy a second time while he's down, because that's what we do in Clay the Clan Shade Falcon is shoot him when they're down. Looking for threes on everything. Alright, so we've gotten a bunch of uh, through armor crits. We've torn off the left side, and now we're going to see what we can do internally. So we have one on the right torso and one on the left torso. One on the center torso and one on the right torso. Okay. Chance on the right torso. One. Okay, it's just the top. Two. Ammo, we can stop. That's going to blow up, take the whole map. Yep. So we're going to fire from this vulture torso twisting into the green wolf out. Two pulse lasers, uh, two large, two medium pulse lasers looking for threes. Actually, I have a miss. So that's what, seven into the leg? Uh, yeah, so you have seven into the left leg then... and seven and ten. Right torso. 10 then 7. Or 10 then 7. So you blew off the right side. And uh, you have a crit into the leg. Okay. A crit chance into the leg? Yeah, left leg. Nope. Okay, well that mech has only a center torso and legs left. Okay. This is the one shot to the one that's down. Looking at threes again, two large, two small, or medium, false lasers. Yeah, that hits. Center turret, it's done. 
Is it? Yeah. Oh. Alright, and then my final shot, Mad Cat to the Mauler. I have two large lasers, two medium lasers, and a false laser. Looking for fives on everything except the uh, false laser, looking for a three. Chance into the left arm. Nope. That's all you're shooting? Yes, everything I got for this round, yes. Okay, so we're gonna go on to melee. Some melees. We're gonna start with this Wolfhound punching you twice. For, he needs tens, the first one. Miss, second one. Miss. Now, both of these guys are punching you, and they both need seven. So here's the first one. That's a hit. Yeah. That's to the top, 10 points of damage. That's a five. So that is right arm. So that's 10 points that eventually finds its way into the center torso with a critical chance. With no crit. Okay, second one. Hit. That is. Four. Right torso. So that is right torso into center torso, which is another crit chance. Which is also not. But that doesn't mean you really do have to make a PSR. Uh, yeah. So. Let's go ahead and make some PSRs. So piloting skill, I need a seven. This one still manages to have a leg attached to it. And I do not fall. This might be one of the first turns I haven't fallen. And now the uh, vulture needs to stay up on a five. <laughs> it falls, John, it falls. So it might kill itself. I think it's going to kill itself. Let's see. How many? So that's one hex eye to the left, and then it falls on its left side. Uh, it is a 60 ton mech. So, so six total damage points. So do a black four. Uh, no, wait, yeah, because we're hitting left side, right? Yes. So it's left and center. So, uh, one point into the left torso. Okay. And then five points into the center. Does that kill it? Uh, one, one point shy. Uh, so, rolling the crits for the center. Yep. Ken really wants me to play one more turn. Doing two pilot damage. Yeah, that's, I've got two hits. So I have to avoid, two. let me avoid it first, that's a five. Okay, he's fine. He still has to do consciousness from previous damage. You have five or greater. Muller needs a four. You got it. Barely. On to the next turn. Well, we're back. So we decided to call it there. We're saying that I killed the vulture, Ken kills the rest of me and then uh, we're gonna move on from there and Wotan is no more. Uh, so according to the victory conditions in the book, if the Falcons lost no mechs in the process, they would win a decisive victory. You killed one, so it's going to be a marginal victory for the Falcons. Kind of exactly what happened in the cartoon, which seems to be a running theme. Yeah, so for my victory conditions, somehow I would have to have killed three of Ken's Max, or for a decisive victory, all of them. My dice would not have to show up for this to, to probably have done that. But we digress a little bit here. Uh, tell us what you thought about this particular battle, uh, the Max that got painted up, uh, the terrain, and what you guys think would have been this particular battle somewhat more interesting. 
So we'd like to thank everyone that's part of our Patreon. There's a link down below if you'd like to join that. Um, we'd also like to thank everyone that's on our Discord. We have lots of people on there that just like talking about Star Wars Armada, talk about Battletech. We have a lot of cool pictures that people post of their painted forces. Special thanks also goes out to Death From Above Wargaming as we were using their dice mechanic in terms of speeding up classic Battletech. If you would like to follow us, there's tons of links for our social media down below. You can find us on Discord, Facebook, Instagram. You name it, we got it. Exactly. All right, until next time, hope you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Ken. I'm John. And you've been watching Ion Radio.